Hello, my friends. Is today the day that Karen gets back on the longboard after busting my freaking ankle three weeks ago? And I didn't even do it skating. I was doing box jumps. Graceful. My dad doesn't call me his little ballerina for no reason. What's up guys? It is a very rare moment that I don't bawl my eyes out during my morning routine. Um, not because I'm sad. Uh, so a big part of my morning routine is um, just the deep expression of gratitude and it's not to say that my life is perfect, um, but there's just always so much to be grateful for. Gratitude is like the highest vibration that you could possibly be in um and truthfully when you can sit and just like feel into that gratitude for all the things that you have in this moment it really just it is just so powerful um and so after my gratitude journaling i i go into my affirmations my i am statements my intentions for who i am and um how i intend to show up in this world and i always have like worship music playing in the background and i don't know guys sometimes i just get so filled with well gratitude and then just like this feeling of like God's presence that it just shakes me to the core and just tears just like start streaming down my face. I swear by a morning routine, being diligent in making this a part of my day as like literally a non-negotiable regardless of what is going on in life, whether I'm traveling, if I have visitors, if I'm in a rush, like I make this a non-negotiable because I know that when I don't because in the past I was very hot and cold with it um, and ever since it's become a, a non-negotiable in my life I kid you not like it has changed my life um, I operate from so much more of a, of a state of peace throughout my day that's not to say that like I don't like randomly and intermittently like get in a mood or a funk um, I'm human but the trajectory of like my productivity my peacefulness my uh, positivity and just like operating in my day throughout a sense of thankfulness and gratefulness um, it really just has changed my life to be perfectly honest with you like I know it's a very bold statement but um, 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes a day and I hear so often like I don't have time for that I don't have time for that but truthfully you get that time back uh, because you are so much more productive when you're operating from a state of peace rather than a state of anxiety um, and it's about prioritizing. I mean, you will prioritize anything that you know will have a positive impact on your life, right? Like we prioritize going to the gym. Um, we prioritize people that we love, our loved ones, our relationships. And so why not prioritize 15 minutes with yourself in the morning? Um, I actually created a free um, morning routine checklist and um, sort of like a journaling prompt because I share it this a lot like on my Instagram stories and I've gotten lots of people asking like what I do um, so I figured why not create like a little free resource for you guys um, I'll put that in the description box it's just a link it's a free download you just have to type in your email and it gets sent right to you um, and I have lots of people that like follow along with it uh, with me now in the mornings and so it'll just guide you through like some journal prompts and then like a little check checklist of um, things that you can engage in in your morning routine it is Sunday today I'm taking things a little bit slower today sorry for this like weird angle I like literally have the camera up on my um what you call it pen holder um taking things a little bit slower today slept in a little bit felt really nice um usually I wake up at like 6 a.m I slept till 7 30 I'm gonna go hit the gym after I finish my morning routine uh have, what do I have today I was back today uh, then I have to run some errands. So I'm flipping the script a little bit today uh, with my Sunday. Normally I go to the 10 o'clock service for church and then like do everything else after like my workout, errands, whatever else I'm doing. Uh, but last week I went to both the 10 o'clock and the 5 o'clock service and the 5 o'clock service was like so lit. Like worship was next level. Like I literally felt like I was like at a freaking Justin Bieber concert, but with 
praise hands. Um, <laughs> it's just lit. So uh, I'm gonna flip things up a little bit today, do all of my like errands, workout, all that good stuff, meal prep during the day go to the five o'clock service, and it is normally my day off from work today. I usually take one day off per week, but I ended up taking most of yesterday off. Um, just kind of like felt the need to rest and reset, sat on the beach for a little, a little while yesterday. Uh, so I'm gonna get a little bit of work done today too. Um, my eight week course plus challengers are starting tomorrow, so just wanna make sure everything is set up, ready to go. I'm jumping into the challenge. I'm just feeling on fire um i posted a post on my instagram yesterday let me read it to you guys so this was the post look at those little baby abs peeping through your girl is feeling good feeling amazing and filled with so much energy gratitude and life lately and guys that is a fact uh i've been taking way more time to slow down and to make time for the seemingly small things that really are the big things. They truthfully are, you guys. It is those small things that we say we don't have time for that really make all the big difference, like a morning routine. Uh, prayer and dance, yes, both of those things. Prayer and dance have become regular, consistent parts of my daily routine multiple times a day. And checking in with my needs, my desires, and my intentions for how I wanna show up in the world for myself and for those around me is a non-negotiable. I've come to a powerful and clear recognition that my main priorities are to create inner peace regardless of what season I'm in in life and to be a light for others who are experiencing darkness. I actually write that as an affirmation in my affirmation journal multiple times uh, per week. I just truly believe that. I, I just like know that that's part of why I'm here on this earth and my purpose truly is to guide others who are experiencing darkness in their lives. And I think that's part of the reason why I feel so called to be a coach because I get to step into that role where I can uh, shed hope and light into the lives of other women who either have been in a similar position that I have been in or are just in a season of darkness in their life and kind of maybe feel like they've lost hope. Um, and it's just seeing them come out and break through to the other side, just nothing is more fulfilling to me. My mental and emotional well-being has never felt more powerful and clear, and what's crazy is my physical health is joining in right alongside these things. I'm telling you guys, physical health will never be at its optimal spot unless you are taking care of yourself from the inside out. Um, on Monday, tomorrow, I'll be jumping into the eight week course plus challenge with all my clients slash students, and I'm super pumped to kick things up a notch and to join right alongside them. Should I document the next eight weeks here on YouTube? Let me know, comment. Uh, I guess the point of this post was more of a mini life update than anything else, but in the grand scheme of things, I just wanna remind you guys that no matter what season you are in in life, good or bad, that you are so damn resilient. Your breakthrough will bring along more possibility and light than you can ever imagine. So seriously, just keep going. You guys, many of you might or might not know, um, I actually posted a video about this several months ago. Um, about like nine months ago now, I was in literally the darkest season of my life. I experienced depression for the first time in my life. Um, those of you who have been subscribers of my channel for a really long time, you know me to be this like, this person that I am, am right now talking to you and positive and upbeat and filled with energy and um, that was just completely stripped away from me. <clears throat> and for what felt like forever, uh, it felt like I was literally just stuck in a dark room with a broken light switch and it was the scariest, just most, just draining time in my life. Uh, and I felt such a discrepancy between like where I was in that moment and who I knew myself to be. Um, but I kept going, you guys. I pushed through and I'm here to tell you that like I'm talking to you from a place of just gratitude and, and a place of just breakthrough. And in that moment, I didn't know that I would get to this spot, you know? And I think sometimes when we're in the midst of a challenge, the light at the other side can seem so impossible, but I'm telling you, you guys, it's not. 
you're so much more resilient than you're giving yourself credit for and so if you're in a dark season right now if you are struggling just keep going and please go watch that video um i talked a little bit about some of the things that i did to pull myself out of that dark season um and i've gotten some comments and messages from you guys saying that you know it was helpful you can relate and maybe that you even started incorporating some of the things that i did to get myself out of that uh dark time in my life um and so I encourage you just at least go watch the video um i won't sit and like talk too much more about it right now because i want to get into today's video but um it was a really vulnerable video for me to share and um i'm glad that i did anytime that i feel like you talk about and open up about something that you're struggling with with which that's one of the things i talked about in the video is not isolating um but i'm so glad that i shared that video and just even if just one person commented saying like wow, that was so helpful or like I needed to hear that. I just, I know that I'm on the right path and that I did the right thing by sharing. So um, I'll link that video in the description box as well. Uh, even if you're in a great season of your life, maybe you wanna check it out. But just kind of taking you guys along with me and with, with what I'm doing today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please remember to, if you can stop right now and give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, that would mean the world to me um so last week i had a call with a really 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 close friend of mine and i was like in a weird spot that week where i was just like kind of in this like weird funk of like feeling a little bit stagnant in like some areas of my life and um he asked me he was like karen if you didn't have bills to pay like if if money didn't exist um what would you do every single day i said well i would keep coaching 100 percent i absolutely freaking lutely love coaching uh there's nothing else i would rather be doing i said um and i would be on youtube i would make youtube videos and he was like well then get your ass on youtube <laughs> Um, and it just like was this weird like crazy aha moment for me because i didn't really realize how much i really love and enjoy being on youtube youtube doesn't make me very much money like at all you know i think we get so sucked into doing the things we feel like we have to do and just constantly like being so diligent in my business and like trying to up level um i think i lost touch of just doing the things that i love to do for fun right it's not to say that i i love my business i have fun in my business but there's just other things like being here on youtube that i just i love to do uh so that just kind of like was an aha moment for me um and so I just want to tell you guys like how much I really truly love being here and like talking to you and having you here and seeing your comments. And so like if you're a silent viewer, I'd love for you to just like speak up for once and like say hello in the comments. I want to meet you. I want to know where you're from. Um, so just tell me like a little bit about you. Like I just, I love building tribe and community. So leave me a comment. Tell me something about yourself. At least tell me where you're from. Um, and yeah, okay, let's get into the video. Love you guys. Okay, gym outfit of the day. Um, this cute little seamless purple Jed North sports bra. These are Alphalete leggings. I love them. These are my favorite leggings. They even have a little pocket. Um, and then these cute little like neon Converse. I'm obsessed and I forgot that I have them, which is why they're so clean. But I know they don't really match, but who cares? Do I hear a bubby? Do I do I hear a bubby out there? Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, bubby chubby. Oh, you better stretch out those hammies. You better stretch them, it's like this. <laughs> hello. Just stopped at the grocery store, picked up a few things, so I figured I would show you guys what I got. Okay, so, I love these. Pacific Cod, their wild caught uh, frozen cod fillets. That's a major source of protein that I eat. Got some ground turkey, uh, two things of egg whites, more of these berries that you guys saw in my last video. I'm literally obsessed with this tropical uh, fruit blend. It's strawberries, mangoes, and super sweet pineapple. It's so good. Um, and then frozen blueberries, 
like to use these in smoothies and just honestly snack on. Like frozen fruit is just so good. Uh, I got some apple cider vinegar. I use this on salads and to make dressings. I uh, got some cilantro, which I'm really curious because I found out last year that I think it's like somewhere in between 4 and 14% of the population think that cilantro tastes like soap. Um, so I'm curious if you're one of those people, comment below and let me know. <laughs> I got my smooth almond butter. You know, actually the crunchy wasn't bad last week. I, I don't know, I, I kinda liked it. I got an avocado, some garlic and herb seasoning, honey mustard, rice cakes. I got some baby spring mix. I've been really loving the spring mix that has the fresh herbs in it too. It is just, I don't know, just add something extra. It's so good. I got some asparagus and some zucchini. Already have tons of rice and potatoes for my carbs, and I'm actually cooking up some ground turkey right now. It is 12.39, so this will be part of the meal that I eat as my first meal of the day when I break my fast very soon here. I'm just gonna be using some sea salt. I like to put also some, oops, hello, some ginger on there as well. And then I will use some of that garlic and herb seasoning uh, that I just showed you guys too. So, I'll show you guys my meal when it's done. Hi. All right, you guys, so, I'm gonna do some ground turkey. I have a bed of white rice in here. There is about a cup of rice in there. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some avocado for my fats and some of that spring mix. And the finished product, so good. Um, it's a giant bowl of ground turkey, rice, spring mix, avocado, and topped with sriracha and honey mustard. Yum! I have got to show you guys this. I just put together this side by side and I'm, I'm literally shook. Like I'm so freaking mind blown right now. I will never forget the day I took this photo. It was a little over a year ago today and I didn't even wanna be at that gym that day. My body physically hurt from being so inflamed, you guys. I wanna like get this stuff, but look, just look at my face. Like, sad, puffy, my whole body, just so inflamed. And I was in a really dark time mentally and emotionally at that time too. I kinda talked about that earlier in the video. This was this time about a year and a half ago when I first started experiencing depression for the first time. My hormones were literally a wreck. I literally wrote that on the left. Hormones a wreck, body so inflamed. I was always so confused, literally felt hopeless, in such a dark place mentally. And this photo on the right, you guys, was yesterday. Like this is now, this is in the now. Mentally and emotionally and spiritually thriving. Did not place any focus on my physical health other than healing my hormones. So no focus on aesthetics, I placed zero emphasis on weight loss, zero emphasis on looking shredded. The only thing I focused on was physically was healing my hormones. The major the majority of my focus was on becoming mentally resilient, emotionally resilient, and really diving head first into my faith. So just building myself spiritually as well. And guys, like, just look at this. This is proof right here that your body will always follow what is going on on the inside. You know, you could have the best diet plan and the best training plan in the world, but if you aren't focusing on your health from the inside out, working on your mindset, working on just be being at peace and freeing yourself mentally and emotionally, those diet plans and training plans will absolutely do nothing. And that's part of the reason why mindset is such a huge component in my Mind Body Life Method program. 
No woman comes through without getting massively rocked in her mindset. But look at this, so much inflammation down and just like, look at the difference in my face. On the left, you, like, I don't know if it is so like apparent to you, maybe it's more apparent to me because I can truly just remember that moment and how I felt. And on the right, I feel like you can just see that I'm just like in a state of peace. It's just crazy to reflect on this, you guys, and that's why I sent, why I shared that message earlier that if you are in the midst of a storm, keep going. The breakthrough is so much more beautiful than you can even imagine. All right, you guys, so I'm going to head to a coffee shop, get a solid three hours of work done um, before church this evening, Gotta make sure my course students slash challengers are ready to go for tomorrow. I'm super hyped about jumping in and I'll catch you guys at the coffee shop. At one of my favorite coffee shops in San Diego. I just have a cold brew with a light splash of almond milk and two stevia. Got my giant bottle of water, always staying hydrated. Got my to-do list. Just have a few things to get done couple of client plans, um, finish day four through six of a course that I'm working on, and then church at five, yeah. What's up you guys? I'm in just, I'm in just in a great mood today. It is day one of our fitness and mindset eight week course and challenge, and I'm just so filled with joy and life right now. I just got off of our first training slash module slash call. Recorded it. For the girls who have to watch the replay, give you guys a little. That's happening, right? Okay. So, how do you collect a baseline? How do you collect the average calorie intake that you've been eating? Well, first things first, you're gonna need, gonna need to. Get so tonight's call was all about educating the ladies on how to set their own macros. And no, it's not using a BS macro calculator because guess what? Those don't take into account how you've currently been eating. Uh, I gave a little example of, let's say person A and person B are both the exact same height, the exact same weight, have the exact same activity level, are both female, but let's say person A has been eating around 1,400 calories, give or take, for the last month. And then let's say person B has been eating about 2,300 calories, give or take, for the last month. They're gonna put their height, weight, and activity level into the calculator and get the exact same macros. Yet, person A will be affected differently by those macros than person B because they both have been eating at different calorie intakes for the last month or so, right? So let's say the macro calculator tells them to eat, I don't know, 1800 calories. Person A, if she jumps all the way from 1400 to 1800 overnight like that, what's gonna happen to her? She's gonna gain body fat quickly. Uh, conversely, person B, if she jumps from 2300 to 1800, she's going to lose body fat, right? Um, so it's just really important that when you're considering your starting line or your, your baseline for where you should set your targets for your calories and your macros, <laughs> uh, it is important when you're figuring out your starting point for your macros that you first get an average or a baseline of what your current calorie intake is looking like. And then from there, you can make adjustments and modifications based on whether your goal is to lose weight, lose body fat, if it is to gain, build muscle, or if it's to maintain, then you would obviously chill at that average, right? But the baseline or the starting point is not gonna come from a macro calculator. It has to come from getting that average or that baseline of what your current intake um, is currently looking like. So my recommendation, and this is what I taught into the group, so I'm kind of giving you guys a bonus. Um, <laughs> just love you guys. Uh, get on your MyFitnessPal. If you're ready, if you need to set some new goals and targets for yourself, uh, get on your MyFitnessPal, track your food for at least two to three days, I suggest, suggest at least three, um, and get an average intake for yourself. Look at, over the course of those three days, take the average 
calorie intake, take all three days, then find the average between the three of them, right? And that's gonna show you what you've typically been chilling at, you know, what your typical intake has been looking like. And then from there, you can make the adjustments um, based on what your goal is. If your goal is to lose, you're going to want to reduce those calories. If your goal is to gain muscle, build muscle, you're going to want to increase those calories. If your goal is to maintain, you will keep them consistent. Um, I don't recommend jumping into a ridiculously significant deficit right away. Obviously, if our goal is to lose, we wanna lose weight by eating the most amount of food that we can, right? So don't immediately try and reduce your calories by five or 600 calories. That's absolutely crazy. You don't need to start in that aggressive of a deficit. Um, and conversely, you don't need to do the same thing with a cut. So start slow, start small. Um, but that's my tidbit of info for you guys when it comes to finding your starting point and setting your macros. Um, I went way more in depth uh, in that our call was an hour long. Um, so we went way more in depth in the training tonight. Um, if you guys need help or need support with that, you can always send me an email. I'm happy to, um, give you some tips, suggestions. Uh, you can always find my email in the description box. Um, but I'm super excited to have jumped into day one of the challenge. I woke up today, just like, I've been waking up every day, just feeling a sense of just excitement and gratitude, just like, so thankful to be on this earth, living out my purpose, praise God. Um, and yeah, just it's crazy how when your mental and emotional health is in a good spot, your body just kind of comes along with it. I'll insert a clip from this morning of my like day one, uh, and then I'll be kind of just documenting the process here over the next eight weeks. Um, so if you guys are interested in following along with my progress and just with how I'm feeling and how things are going, uh, let me know, comment below. Uh, but I'm gonna end the video here today. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for just being like a part of my family, part of my tribe. If you wouldn't mind stopping what you're doing and just at least giving me a thumbs up on this video because it tells me not only that you support me, but it tells me that you enjoy my content. Um, and that obviously motivates me to keep showing up for you guys. So I would really appreciate that. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. But I also want to hear some feedback from you guys. So please, 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 it would really be helpful for me if you could leave some comments below on, oh, my arm's getting tired, um, on some things that you want to hear, things you want to learn about, things you want to see, if you want to do more Q&A type things, you know, just anything, any ideas that you guys have, comment them, let me know, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Luke, say goodbye. Say goodbye. <gasps> goodbye, YouTube. I love you. I really love you. <laughs> Bye, guys. We love you.